guys, so I've now started my trip through Europe, which would take about a month. So right now I'm in Krakow, Poland, and today we're gonna visit. We're gonna do a Segway tour, visiting the old town, and then we're gonna go to the castle in the afternoon. I'm now in the main square. It's actually quite stunning. It's the largest medieval square in Europe. So now you can see the Saint Mary's Basilica. It's really beautiful inside. Absolutely gorgeous. You were the shadow to my light. Did you feel us? Another star, you fade away. Afraid our aim is out of sight. Wanna see? Hey guys, so I'm now at the Schindler's factory. I think this person saved a lot of Jews, like a thousand of them. And then, like, yeah, this is a really famous place in Krakow. So this is the inside of the magnificent St. Peter and Paul's Cathedral, situated on the Royal Route in Krakow. And Krakow is known as the Rome of Central Europe because it has over a hundred churches. We're now at the Royal Wawel Castle. It's where the Polish kings used to live, and um, here's the huge church behind me. It's quite beautiful. Unfortunately, photos are not allowed, but we can still show you a bit from the outside. This cathedral is where most of the important events of the Polish kings were held, including the coronation and also where most of the kings and queens were buried. So I think that's a really important and symbolic place of Poland. And here you can see the palace itself, which is where the king and queen lives. So guys, we had a really rewarding day exploring Krakow yesterday. And so today we're going to go out of the town and we're going to visit the salt mines and Auschwitz concentration camp. So I'm really looking forward to that. Although it's a bit rainy today, but I think it's going to be a great day. I'm now going down some stairs. Well, loads of stairs actually. Down to the salt mines, which is situated 70 meters underground up to over 300 meters. It's really deep, isn't it? The Villasca salt mine was built in the 16th century and it has over 300 kilometers of tunnels underground. It has nine floors and many salt statues, as you can see here. And everything in the salt mines are made of salt, including the floor, ceiling, um, walls, and like, yeah, literally everything. There's lots of salt on the walls, as you can see here. This is the most beautiful cathedral. It's enormous. Did you know even the chandeliers are made of salt? It's absolutely magnificent, this cathedral. So we've just visited the salt mine and we're now back on ground and we're now heading off to Auschwitz concentration camp. Maybe it's not going to be as happy as this one but I'm, not, I'm sure it's going to be also just as rewarding. Auschwitz was the largest Nazi German concentration camp and death camp. In the years 1940-1945, the Nazis deported at least a million and 300,000 people to Auschwitz, including over a million Jews and Poles, Gypsies, Soviets, and prisoners from other groups. Over a million of these people died in Auschwitz. Approximately 90% of the victims were Jews. 
the Jews were sent to the concentration camp, believing they would have a better life here. They had been told that they were going to take a shower, but instead, they were being led into a poisonous gas chamber where they would end their lives. Up to a thousand people lived in a single building, and sometimes they just have to sleep crowded together on grass or these mattresses. Most of the Jewish women and children were sent straight to gas chambers, while some of the men who are fitful for work died of exhaustion or disease in the camp. We're now at the second camp, which is breaking now. When they lost the war, the Nazis destroyed some of the gas chambers to destroy the evidence of their crimes. I'm now on my way to dinner in a very famous restaurant called Pod and Mioni. I think maybe I got it wrong, but whatever. I think it's pretty good. I'm looking forward to that. Fantastic two days in Krakow, Poland. Tomorrow we're gonna be heading to the Hot Tatras in Slovakia. So guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Be sure to watch our next one. It's gonna be just as good. And goodbye for now. See you in Slovakia. Thank <laughs> you.